Hi, I'm Frank John Burkhardt Jr., the owner of uh, Burkhardt Nurseries in Pasadena, California, and I'm here to show you indoor pest control. One of the things with the houseplants inside, it's like a greenhouse environment, so the pests grow just as nicely as your houseplants. So one of the first things you need to do is occasionally examine your houseplants. Make sure that they do not have pests. So first off is when you're examining, you can be like the Sherlock Holmes and you can just kind of like look at the individual leaves like this and say, oh my gosh, I have spider mites. So when you determine what the cause is or what the pest is, then what you can do is you can determine how you're going to control it. Now on this particular palm, being spider mites, what we will do is we will use something organic such as neem. This kills insects very easily and this is safe to use, but it has kind of a scent, so it's probably a good idea. Maybe take it out where it's protected from the cold and maybe spray it, leave it out to air out a little bit so you don't have the scent of neem. It's made out of a tree in India. And then that will help control the spider mites. One thing you could do would be to trim off the worst leaves, then spray the healthier leaves, and that will help control the spider mites faster. A lot of people, what they like to do is they don't like to do organic gardening, and what they'll do is they'll use these harsh systemic houseplant chemicals. And what you do is you just pour some in, and it lasts kind of like your rose systemic. It will last for about six weeks or so, but then you got to remember to put it in. If you have children and pets, I really wouldn't like to use that, but people do. On other plants, such as this rubber plant, on the very back side, you'll see it has mealybug. This is what mealybug looks like. I've got it on this pine cone just to show you. And what that will do is it's like fuzzy cotton balls, and it will go and it will be sticky. You'll bring ants in. So what you need to do is get rid of that. The old-fashioned way was to use rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip. You'd pour it on, you dab it, and you kill it. What I like to do is take and wearing, you know, plastic gloves, <coughs> I'll go ahead and take the paraffin wax, spray it on a paper towel, and I'll wipe the entire leaf. That way I get all of it off. If I missed it, maybe my eyes, I can't see all of it. So I've cleaned off the entire leaf. Then I go to the next one. So I kind of like clean it and polish it at the same time. Another problem you'll have inside will be overwatering. When you're overwatering, plants will get tip burn like this. It could be underwatering, but on this one, we know it's overwatering because we've got it over here on the mid leaf right here. So what you need to do is dry it out. There's no pest on here, but this is a root rot starting. So what we need to do is now dry it out. On the maintenance of it, so it looks better, just cut it at an angle so you don't see all the little tip burn. Then you can monitor it and see if you're starting to get rid of the root rot by letting it go dry. And there's plenty of time to catch this guy to keep him nice and clean. I'm Frank Burkhart, giving you tips on pests on houseplants inside. Thank you.